Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. If you're new, my name is Ariana and I'm a nursing major at GCU. Today's a really fun video because I get to talk about what you do next after you get accepted into the nursing program, which is basically like your hard work paying off after four semesters of slaving away. The first thing that happens is you get an email saying congratulations on what cohort you're in, but also it has a few things that you need to get done. So the first thing you need to do is obviously read that whole email because it has a lot of important information. And the first thing you need to do is basically say that you're accepting your acceptance and continuing on with um, the nursing program. So basically you need to email the email that is on the acceptance letter and you need to include your name, your student ID, and your confirmation that you got the acceptance letter and that you're going to be moving forward with the nursing program. So the next thing that happens is the next day you get an email again saying you need to do a few more things. Um, on that email you have to do your Elevisor profile, which um, you already have an Elevisor profile from taking the HESI and all it's wanting you to do is add your student ID. Some people already added their student ID when they're signing up for the HESI, so just double check and make sure that's done because that's something you need to get done. You also need to upload your insurance card to the document because if you don't, they'll automatically just give you the school insurance, which you have to start paying for. So you want to use your insurance that you already have. Unless you don't have insurance, then you don't do anything. They'll just give you the school insurance. And now my favorite part is that you get to get your scrubs. They give you all the information about getting your scrub. They give you the link to go buy them online, but a lot of people like to try them on because you don't know how the scrubs are going to fit. So that's what I did. I went um, to the Apparel Pro Shop and got them there. You don't even have to wait for this email to um, go get them. You could just get them as soon as you get accepted um, because that's what I did. I just waited until I got the acceptance letter and then it, it's Apparel Pro in um, Tempe and they have all the sizes there. They have the tops, bottoms, jackets, whatever you need. The jacket is optional, so you can get that if you want. So I'll go ahead and try on my um, scrubs for you right now. I'll tell you what size I got and how they fit and maybe if you're around my size you can go based off of that. Okay, so these are what the scrubs look like. I have the Grey's Anatomy ones. Um, they have all different types of scrubs you could choose from. I think Grey's Anatomy, they said, was their most popular. Um, so I have the shirt that goes like this. It has like It's like a little wrap looking thing. Um, my shirt is also wrinkly right now because I don't know how to do laundry, right, I guess. Um, it has pockets at the bottom. We all love pockets. So I got my shirt in a small and my uh, bottoms in a small and I'm like five foot three. Uh, these are what the bottoms look like. It has a pocket right here and two pockets right here. I also got the jacket because I always get cold in class, so this is what that looks like. I also got it. Yeah, it's in a small. Um, and yeah, that's what that looks like. And all together, uh, the pants, the shirt, the jacket came out to about like a hundred dollars, and I just got one thing of everything. So that's the like price to keep in mind. Uh, the next thing you'll need for clinicals is gonna be a watch, so you can do like respiration rates and stuff like that. Um, I just got this one. It's from Target. Uh, it was like eight bucks. The next thing is optional. You don't have to get it if you don't want to, but you could if you want. Uh, which a lot of people do want is a badge holder and mine I just got it off of Etsy it looks like this it's like a sunflower the next thing you'll need to get uh, because they do not provide it to you is a stethoscope which I just got mine from Amazon it's this brand and it looks like this it's white with uh, rose gold and yeah 80 bucks on Amazon. I hope this helps you out with figuring out what you do and do not need for the nursing program. Um, everything else like a blood pressure cuff and a pen light, that will be uh, provided to you in your lab kit. And the next thing is that you're going to need to get your lab kits, but um, that's at the beginning of the semester, so you just need to remember to get those when the semester starts. 
So the next email that comes, comes the day after the last email, and this one is talking about all the immunization teeters you need to get drawn. So this one I cannot stress enough to get done as soon as that email comes because some of the vaccines, if you're not immune, you're going to need to get a vaccine for it, and some of them you need to wait 28 days in between when you get them. So the first one, you get it, and then you need to wait 28 days, and then you get the second one. But if you wait a little bit and then you realize, oh no, I'm not immune, you're going to need to get your first one done, and then if the 28 days is after the due date, you might have some problem with holding your place in the nursing program. So I cannot stress you that enough. If there's one thing that you take away from the video, it's this, get your immunizations done right away. So there's a bunch of them. There's TB, tetanus, varicella, MMR, and hepatitis B. So those are all the things that you need to get your blood drawn to make sure that you're immune. And if you're not, you're gonna need to get um, the vaccines for them, which is not a big deal. Just make sure you get the proof that you got them and you're uploading that instead. This email also includes other things that you need to do. So BLS, which is basic life support, which if you watched my last video, you would know that I suggested to take that before you even apply for the program. So um, if you have that done, that's great. You could just turn in your license for that. If not, just get it done. It's uh, about a two hour class and you get a little card after it, you just upload that. Influenza, which is basically the flu shot, you need to get that. Another thing you need to get done is a physical, and the doctor needs to fill out a little physical form, checking everything is normal. Um, that's pretty easy. So what I suggest is make a time to go home to get all these things done so you can just get them done because it's really hard to find places here in Phoenix, unless you're from here obviously but that will just take you for a one-time visit because usually they want a long-term patient. So yeah, I just suggest going home and doing all your things there and you're just in and out easy and make sure it's well before the deadline. The next things are things that you just go to your e-docs and just click that you acknowledge it and sign it. And that is the HIPAA form, the field experience guideline form, which basically is like all the rules, and the lab consent form. And the last thing, which you don't have to do anything about just yet, is the drug screen. You're going to get randomized drug screening, and that happens uh, typically when um, school has already started. So um, you just have to go whenever they say, and you have to go like that day. So just keep that in mind. Alright, that is it for today's video and just again, I stress that you take your titers right when you get that email because you don't want to get close to any deadlines or anything. And yeah, that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye!